Hello listeners, I'm your host Jayashree and you're listening to Tal Radio powered by Touch Life Foundation. On Tal Radio, we definitely strive to give wonderful positive content and inspiring and uplifting content for all of our listeners. And why am I saying that again when we already know about it? We are here with a wonderful group of teenagers who are doing just that, who have changed the course of teenage and the transition into adulthood in a better manner by helping people around them and starting a non-profit at the ages of 15 around that. I'm really, really glad to be able to talk to these guys today. And the team that we are talking about is Team Hackabyte. Today we have Suraj, Gagan, Navneet, Arjun and Bhanu the founders of Team Hackabyte. I'm really, really happy to be able to talk to these young lads and understand what inspired them to make this decision of uh, teaming up and building a nonprofit called Hackabyte and how are they making a difference in the society with their beautiful little minds, I can say. So without any further delay, let's welcome all of these wonderful guys into our show. Hello, everybody. Hello, team. Hackabyte. Hello. Wonderful, wonderful. It's really great to see you all. And it's really great to talk to you about your endeavors into Hackabyte and how you are making a difference into your society. So without any delay, I would love to ask you for your introduction so that our listeners know who you are. So let's start with Suraj. Of course. Thank you so much for having us. Uh, so as you mentioned before, we are the board members of Hackabyte. I'm Surat Shivakumar, an 11th grader in Redmond High School. One hobby of mine is that I love to sing, and I've been learning Carnatic music for over 10 years. Oh my, my. That is wonderful. I really love that hobby of yours. Okay, so next up we have Gagan. Hello, my name is Gagan, and I'm an 11th grader at Redmond High School. Uh, some things I love to do is to swim, dive, and play video games. Wonderful. So pretty athletic um, hobbies. Wonderful. So next up, we have Navneet. Uh, hey, I'm Navneet Sastri. However, I often go by Nav from most of my friends. I'm an 11th grader at Henry M. Jackson High School. And I'm part uh, from coding. I play tennis. Oh. Awesome. I really love that too. Arjun. Hello, everyone. My name is Arjun Harsha. I'm an 11th grade student at Redmond High School, RHS, in Redmond, Washington. Some passions of mine include cars, producing music, and coding. Wow, wonderful. Bhanu? Hi, my name is Bhanu Atmakuri, and I'm an 11th grader at Tesla Stem High School, which is also located in Redmond, Washington. Some of my passions include uh, rowing and coding. Wow. So one common point that has brought all five of you together is coding, <laughs> right? Cool. So let us understand more about how Hackabyte happened. So uh, firstly, what is Hackabyte and how did it come into action? Who's going to answer that? Yep, uh, that is a great question. I'm Suraj, by the way. Hackabyte is a nonprofit organization located in Redmond, Washington, that hosts coding competitions for the passionate youth. Our journey started all the way back in the summer of ninth grade, when one day Gagan contacted me, Suraj, saying that there was a local hackathon being hosted nearby and that we should go for the fun of it. This was being hosted by Code Day, a well known nonprofit that was known for hosting beginner friendly hackathons. As we also needed some other members, we contacted our friends Banu and Arjun to join our team. However, none of us had been to a hackathon before, so we didn't really know what to expect. Nevertheless, we brought up the courage to sign up for this two-day in-person hackathon and attended it. And it was a blast. The new skills we learned, the connections we were able to make, and the fun we had was like no other. We learned the entire process of making a coding project from start to finish while improving our teamwork, organization, and problem-solving skills. And even better, our project ended up winning world champion that summer for Best in Music. This amazing experience motivated us to join in many more hackathons in the future, and from it, we only got more and more experienced, not only coding-wise, but about the quality that hackathons should be as well. So, in the 
In October of 2023, we decided to create our very own nonprofit where we host hackathons and other coding competitions in the utmost quality. Later, adding NAV to the board, along with many talented volunteers, we hope to bring all the amazing moments that we were so fortunate to experience to the passionate youth. Thank you. Wow, that's a hell of a journey, man. <laughs> Wonderful. And uh, to know that you guys were just ninth graders when you started all of this and, you know, kept all of your minds together. And I must say, most of the adults, they don't really think this way. So I'm really proud of what you're doing. Absolutely proud. So thank you so much for answering that, Suraj. And I want to ask one more question to you. Why is it a non-profit, by the way? Uh, I can answer that. So the reason that we are a nonprofit is that usually when it comes to funding and getting resources and all this and money, uh, the easiest way to really fundraise is through nonprofits. So as we are tax exempt, so we don't really have to pay uh, taxes the way other businesses and companies do. It's really easy for us to fundraise and get all these resources very quickly. Um, to dive more specifically about that, we are fiscally sponsored by a company known or or another, sorry, another 501c3 nonprofit known as the Hack Foundation or Hack Club. And they have given us resources such as banking. They've given us many perks such as possible awards that we can win as being part, uh, fiscally sponsored from them. And through this, we have achieved that nonprofit title and we are now able to fundraise and gather resources very, very easily. Yeah, and also- Wonderful. We we also um, like uh, just being a nonprofit because uh, instead of being for profit and getting money from things we do and the joy we spread, we want to make this just something that we do for everyone, not because of the, those kinds of uh, things we earn, but because it's something we enjoy as well and something we want to spread. Beautiful. That's a beautiful goal. Thank you so much for answering the question, Suraj and Bhano. So moving on to my next one, um, this is a bit difficult for, like I said, most of the adults do, but I really want to ask you about this. Working in a team needs a lot of coordination, trust and understanding, definitely. So how did your team come into existence and what are the measures you take uh, to work in harmony? Uh, we're high schoolers. We're not perfect, at least far from it. As said before, we formed due to our interest in coding. When I was brought into this team, I had to learn a lot about everyone on the team, as the only person I knew was just Suraj at the time. Our coordination took a bit of work as we struggled to manage our time between our schoolwork and setting up for the hackathon. But I think one thing we realized is uh, the free time we are going to get is not as easy. As we need to, to, to get our own free, free and extra time, as we had to work more late nights to finish this project that we started. We're all passionate about creating a fun hackathon for everyone, and I feel like everyone has shown that tremendously throughout the entire working process. Sometimes we may get into debates, and we try to make sure both sides are heard. Siraj and Banu is, in our group is typically the most vocal, as they have the two differing ideas, and they often get into conflict. Uh, we try to commonly resolve these uh, their thoughts and ideas, and we try to uh, make sure both of their thoughts and ideas are implemented. Uh, we're trying to reduce the amount of conflict, but I'm glad to know there is some conflict as as part of this team. It shows like how truly passionate they are. Uh, most of these issues is I think is just due to our lack of experience of working in high pressure team environments and just us getting to know each other well. And I think that's just something time will help us to achieve. As I said, we are not perfect, yet this time of getting to know how each, this time is allowing us to get to know how each person operates as it makes our team stronger in the sense of working it together. Beautiful. Love that answer, Navneet. Or Nav, as your friends call you. So thank you so much for answering. And um, yes, it surely is strenuous and difficult um, to be able to uh, understand each other constantly and you know keep up that spirit without breaking the team down no matter what kind of disagreements you guys uh, might encounter as you said you know the two different people with two different opinions and you still have to come back to one single decision and that needs a lot of um, stability so really love that um moving on um 
like you mentioned, uh, Suraj, you did mention a couple of events that you have uh, been to. So I would want to ask that in more in detail. Um, please mention any noteworthy events that you have attended and also share um, your future events with all of our listeners. So in case anybody wants to join or in case anybody wants to be a part of um, or just be an audience uh, could attend. So who's going to answer that for me? Uh, I'll I'll answer that for you. Um, yes, as Suraj ahead. mentioned, as Suraj mentioned, we have participated in like several events, including Code Days Hackathon, Hack PNW's Hackathon, EMP Hackfest Hackathon. Our first experience at Code Day introduced us to like the structure of a hackathon, and with this, we learned about workshops, talks, and fun activities. At our next hackathon, Hack PNW's Hackathon, we learned about judging process and the roles of various participants participants such as speakers volunteers mentors and judges the other hackathon that we went next to was the emp hackfest hackathon which provided us with an insight into venue selection uh the cost of food and how to secure uh partnerships and sponsors these experiences gave us a uh, understanding on how to run a hackathon and uh, some notable events that we have recently hosted uh, was our spring 2024 hackathon, which we con conducted extensive research to secure venues, sponsors, donors, and uh, market our event. Despite these challenges, we successfully hosted our hackathon, attracting more than 65 attendees. And additionally, we hosted a booth at the Telangana American Telugu Association event in Seattle, where we raised uh, funds for our next hackathon. Uh, looking ahead, our immediate goal is to host our 2024 uh, summer hackathon next week. This hackathon is going to be completely online with a $1,000 prize pool. And this hackathon will have many uh, tech workshops, industry professionals, as well as a large prize pool and even more uh, attendees. And we're planning to expand globally after this hackathon. And we want to become more consistent in hosting hackathons and other events. And our vision for Hackabyte is to have a significant impact by providing an immersive learning experience for students interested in technology, innovation, for everyone around the world. Additionally, we plan on hosting tech talks where industry professionals can discuss specific tech topics. Wonderful, wonderful. Tell me one thing, Galgan. Yeah. With your extensive school <clears throat> curriculums, how are you guys finding <clears throat> time for all of this? We're finding time to balance this because we're prioritizing things uh, correctly, allocating time that uh, can be spent for different activities, uh, making like a timetable and uh, planning out when we're going to meet next with our volunteers, with our board members and uh, judges, emailing. We have different people who coordinate that. Like Nav, he talks to our uh, volunteers all the time and he collaborates with them. So that's like a way we like adjust our timings and collaborate together with our tight schedules. Absolutely inspiring. Absolutely inspiring. Mm -hmm. You know, I Thank belong you. to that generation where people say to their children, in my time, this was like that. In my mm -hmm. time, it was like that. So I would say when I was 15 and 16, I don't even remember how my life was. Just the school <laughs> and the home. And yeah, pretty much a bit of a hobby and nothing more than that. Mm. But I'm really, really happy to know that the world has evolved so much and has um, you know, given so much of an opportunity to kids like you to make sure that you live your dreams and the curriculums are definitely awesome. I have learned coding in my engineering, guys. Engineering. And you're doing it in school. Wonderful. I love that. <laughs> so, thank you. my next question. Wonderful. So, my next question to you is, what is the future you all collectively envision for Hackabyte? Who's answering this? So, I can answer that. Yes, as, a team, as a team, when we first started this nonprofit, I think we all just wanted to do this because everybody else was doing it. We saw many of our friends create nonprofit organizations all because they wanted to use this in their college applications. And in the U.S., these kinds of activities are useful to get into college. So uh, have, 
so inspired by them, we thought it would be nice for college too. And we started something fun for us to run and that would be good for college as well, right? Now, though we haven't done much, now that we've done more than enough for college though with this organization, our goal with this organization is no longer about it anymore. We realized how much of an impact we can make and we decided, decided to seize this big opportunity that we have right in front of us to do just that. We wanted to expand this organization past the local Redmond and Bellevue, Washington area, past the US, and we want to make this organization like Regeneron, which is a really big organization who hosts uh, research competitions for students all across the United States. We want to make this organization like the Technology Student Association, which brings together many students from around the world to compete in the tech field. But our organization will be welcoming to everyone, where even people that don't know anything can still have a chance at winning, which is an issue that we've encountered in our past hackathons as well. We, have, we didn't really know much and it got less, less and less interesting to us because we were unable to actually see any success in our work. So we want to eliminate that issue in our next hackathons. We want to make that less, we don't want that to be an issue in, or an obstacle for anybody to learn computer science. We want to help people love computer science, not because their parents wanted them to, or because it pays a lot, be, but because it's fun and something to enjoy. Can I join classes, please? Can I? <laughs> will, you, will you be generous enough to teach adults like us to love computer science? I hated it. Trust me, I did. So the reason I'm being very upfront is because a lot of people, like you rightly mentioned, Bhano, uh, take up subjects that they might not really like or have an interest in because of the parents or because the parents really wanted to do something and they couldn't and now the children have to do it. So the too many scenarios of that sort that you hear across the world and a lot of us get stuck in that cycle. They, do, they cannot get out of it, nor they can love it. So they're just stuck there. So I really love the goal of yours uh, when you said uh, really want to make people love computer science because it's fun. Uh, that's absolutely awesome. That's very, very great. Uh, thanks a lot for answering that for me, Bhano. And I have another question. Um, um, yeah, Bhano, you can answer this for me. Uh, I thought um, being a nonprofit, um, a lot of us really, uh, you know, see that um, there is a bit of a social responsibility that you guys shoulder, correct? So that is the you know a basic principle or the fundamental principle that a lot of nonprofits do um, carry on with. So what is it that you guys usually go with? Did you did you start taking up any social responsibility already, or do you have any plans for that? So do you have any uh, yeah any plans for it? Yeah. So. We, we really want to like expand to like, like high schoolers, middle schoolers and college and like even like teaching adults, like you said. So mm -hmm. I feel like that's kind of our social responsibility, not just to target students, but to target all age groups and have mm -hmm. them really like we really want to communicate to them our message and like have them feel what we think about uh, computer science and what how much interest that we put into it uh it might not be as much as like for example how much we've like how much initiative we've taken into putting it into this organization but at least we don't want it to be some mundane boring nine to five job that that that's the mm -hmm. only reason that people would do this for wonderful i like that so i really will um hope uh to see a lot of people are learning from you as well so Great going there. So my last question for the day, because we've spoken about your um, events and uh, stuff. So I want you to kindly give a message to all our listeners and the youth groups, especially people of your age. Um, yeah. What, what, what is the message that you guys want to deliver? Who's answering this? Yeah. Question? Yeah. That, that's me. Oh, uh, yeah. So yes, the, the message I want is uh, delivery to to all of the listeners here is we live in an incredible time where technology shapes uh, our world in ways that we couldn't have imagined a few years ago. Back in 2020, we, we couldn't have imagined AI taking over. 
just like this, we have so much, so much of an opportunity now. Uh, you have the unique and op, uh, unique and amazing opportunity to be at the forefront of a digital revolution. Learning to code is not just about writing lines of code for computers and trying to know everything. It's about you, problem solving, creativity, and most importantly, innovation. Um, it's it's about turning your ideas into into reality and making an impact for the world around you. Us at Hackabye encourage each and every one of you to dive into the world of coding with curiosity and enthusiasm. I wanted to add, don't be afraid of making mistakes because every error is basically a step towards mastering a new skill. This advice is not just limited to coding. Mistakes build character. Collaborate with your peers, share your knowledge, and learn from each other. Another thing I wanted to add is that as high school students, we're dedicated to organizing these events to give you the best platform to showcase your talents and creativity. However, we can't do this alone. Donations play a crucial role in helping us create a better, better events with better prizes, which in turn have a greater impact on our community. Go visit hackabyte.org. That's H-A-C-K-A-B-Y-T-E dot org to help support our initiative and help make an impact within the community and help inspire the youth. Your donation, no matter how small, goes a long way in making these opportunities available and accessible for more young innovators. Remember, you are capable of achieving amazing things. Dream big, work hard, and never give up on your goals. The future is in your hands, and I have no doubt you will shape it in extraordinary ways. Thank you. Wow. Wow. That's quite inspiring. Didn't really feel like a teenager speaking there. So... <laughs> <laughs> wonderful, you. wonderful. Uh, I, I really can't appreciate you guys enough um, for what you have achieved so far and for the um, maturity you guys have shown uh, to work together in a team and you know to work collectively towards a cause, a specific interest that all of you have and these beautiful goals that you kept for yourselves. I really, really appreciate you guys for it. Thank you so much, Suraj, Gagan, Navneet, Arjun, and Bhanu. I really appreciate all of you guys. And I truly, 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 truly pray that your efforts, um, you know, bring you wonderful, wonderful opportunities and make sure that you grow and also make sure that you um, have people around you grow. So uh, thank you so much once again for your time. And I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Of course, thank you so much for your time. And once again, just to the audience out there, if you're still interested in learning more about us, of course, you can vis visit our website, hackabyte.org, which is again, H-A-C-K-A-B-Y-T-E.org. And you can help support us and donate. All of this is a great help for us to grow and to, of course, spread our message and improve the world for the better. So thank you yeah. so much for listening. And thank you so much, Touch a Life Foundation, for this uh, opportunity to come and talk. Yeah, we, we have events Wonderful. every other month or so. So uh, feel free to sign up. Uh, like we said, we want to get you interested in coding. So, yeah. Great. All right, guys. So that's it for today. Thank you so much. And I really hope we can have you guys back on Tal Radio. And let's do more wonders. And let's teach a lot of more people like me to love computer science. Thank you so much. So that was Team Hackabyte for you all today. And you're listening to Tal Radio powered by Touch Life Foundation. This is your host, Jayashree, signing off for today. Stay tuned and keep learning. <laughs>